let's talk about the development of this North Utica area over the last 12 years. You know when you've made it, when you have some national companies looking at us, whether it be the hotels to my left, whether it be Starbucks, whatever it may be, these great companies don't invest into an area unless they get return on the investment. And as I said before, when the city grows, you grow with collaboration, whether it be from the federal government, whether it be from the state government, the county, or whomever it may be, but you have to develop a partnership with some of the developers. And Hotel Visions, I can't speak enough about them. They have been a great partner. If we look at Hotel Utica, and I know it's not in this footprint, but without Andy Patel, that would have been foreclosed and God only knows what would have happened. We have formed a relationship. He trusts the city. He understands the city. Everywhere we have hotels and no mayor is like Mayor Parmary. He has made this city wonderful. I mean, we have seen the transformation of this city. And, and I, I, I kid you not, a leadership like that does a lot. So I think we are very happy and it's sad that he's, he has to go now. We are, we are scared a little bit, right? And hopefully the new mayor coming in is all similar, progress continues. And it's been always good, right? So it's, it's, it's been very easy and very good to work with. So one thing I have to say about Mayor Parmari is he's very persistent on what he wants, which is good for leadership, right? This hotel that you see here, Hotel Utica, it was almost to a dead place. And he called me up and he said, Andy, I'm not asking, I'm begging you. Please help the city out. And I, right away, when a mayor calls you, you listen. So right away, I call all my investors and partners. I said, guys, we have many hotels in Utica. We are in the hotel business. A lot of people looked at it, nobody wanted it. And then when mayor called me like that, I'm like, we gotta do it. And then we did it, right? So it was, it was nice, it was a good partnership. And, but that persistency, what gets things done right. And, and we hope we have more mayors like him, to be very frankly. I mean, I, we are doing the harbor project right now. We are looking at a big project right now with the harbor. And so we all came up with a very good idea of developing over there an indoor entertainment center with things like bowling, indoor miniature golf, a little restaurant, things like that, that, that every parents and children can enjoy. So we're looking to add that to our harbor project which is very good, I think. We are encouraged with that. Everybody's happy right now. So initially what I'd known about, you know, what Andy was doing is that he had property back there and he's doing another hotel. And obviously the idea of, you know, doing more hotels and Nexus and everything always intrigued me. Um, and we kind of went in at the same time, not really knowing each other's plan. You know, as we did, we kind of synergistically worked together on, you know, like, okay, what's, who's doing what, what needs to be done, how do we rise this whole thing? I'm, uh, I am a firm believer the high tide does lift all ships, and I think, you know, working with Andy and the city has been, you know, profound to say the least. We are seeing a lot of improvement in Utica, right? The whole hospital project is great. I mean, you see it, and then Rob Ash, I mean, Rob Ash is the charm of, another charm of Utica has done many, many wonderful things here. And, you know, I'm glad that he is a hockey fan and a passion for it, right? So somebody with a passion and getting involved here, I think is bringing a lot to the city. So we're very happy about that. When I say you can't do this alone, you really can't. Whether it be the Rob Ashes of the world or the Mike Pezzes of the world or the Joe Gems of the world, and the relationships that you build. You listen, am I a salesman? Do I love my city? Absolutely I do. But they have to believe in what you're selling. And they have to believe it to the point where they become profitable. And at the end of the day, everything I've told these wonderful people have come to fruition. It's a great town, it's a great city. The city is vibrant, which is good. And from what we understand from Dominic Pavia, uh, a broker, that there's a big need for housing in the area. So I think we will be fine and we are looking to develop that as a very top end, very high end, uh, nice you know, multifamily housing with, with lots of features in that, right? So people staying there will really enjoy it. In this particular area, the Harbor Project, we will be looking to do an extended stay hotel. So if people are coming, you know, they will have kitchenettes in every room, uh, which is great for families coming in for four days, five days, but people can book a room also for one day, right? So it's something different. We have one over here, which is a home too, and we'll do another one like that, and then two like that. I am so excited to see this great vision of our harbor. It's gonna be 
something that I guess none of us would ever thought would happen in Utica, New York. And guess what? My friends, my residents, this is going to be the best little city in America. And it really comes down to being our residents have made us number one. And I want to thank all of you for making us number one so I can provide you with this great asset that you're going to be proud of and enjoy with your family and your friends for decades to come.